On B for you today on Star Stop, one of my favorites. And not just is she one of my favorites. I just love how she's got so much of spunk. One of the few women, uh, not just in Bollywood that I know of, that uh, puts her money where her mouth is. You know, if you if she sees something not going right, she's out there. She's very vocal about the fact whatever she thinks. It's always well researched. It's not just somebody just ranting along. But the other part is that she's also a very very popular and strong actress. And sometimes I feel. That's where, you know, that uh, the little balance has to happen. But Richa Chadda always finds that balance. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Saril. I'm so excited to talk to you after what seems like ages. Uh, it, is ages. it is ages. It is ages. Everything. It is ages. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean every word. You know, everyone is so scared of their own reputation and the future and the consequences of what they do. And, and I love how... How you, you you sort of own your own position, you own your own name, you own what you what you think of, and you're not dissuaded by it. It's a very very fine line and very dangerous line for actresses. And kudos to you to constantly do it on social media and other platforms as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a strategy or if it's just who I am, because I don't want to take credit for something that I'm doing subconsciously. You know, I wouldn't be any different had I been a. No, as for a teacher or a banker, I would still be this person. So I just happen to be doing a job that's like in the public domain. That's all I can say. <laughs> but but I you don't know, want to take credit for it because it's not thought out. It's just how it is. No, no, I know it's very organic. But the way you are also, I wouldn't think you're a very aggressive person. Also, you know, uh, whenever I meet you, you're very soft spoken. And you know, and those things, but the lines that you, you know, कहते ना बड़े जोर का झटका धीरे से मारते हो तुम। And I love that about you. You know, it's not like चिल्ला चिल्ला के अपना point बाहर डालने की जरूरत है या कोशिश है। Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, thunder. You know how you read that thing about the thunder and the storms and the monsoon, yeah. just that. I think for women to effect any real change, I think uh, you have to be like Ruth. Gader, uh, Gader Ginsburg, where you have to be uh, uh, sort of pushing the envelope a little by little every time and looking at incremental changes as opposed to sudden perfection and everything is hunky dory in society. That doesn't happen. No, no, but it's on its way, and there uh, lots of voices like you. I respect them so much. Also, you, Tapsi, Swara, they're all there. But the last nine, ten months has been a different world for everyone. But you seem to have a really rocking time also. I mean, one month in two two releases, we'll come to that, which is which is fantastic to know. You know, people are wondering that next shooting date will be. I'm catching Richa at a shoot of another film. She's got two releases that happened in this month. One way on the anvil of, and which the trailer was so fantastic. Uh, I'm super jealous. The great Amitabh Bachchan writes great things also about the trailer, and he means every word. I said that, and I'm going wow. <laughs> I am so I I just woke up to that and I was so thrilled like you know there's something about someone who is a living legend uh, who is being so who so generous and so gracious with like newcomers juniors from the industry the fact that uh, you know he uh, he he will send out a note or a bouquet to you uh, one of appreciation when he likes your work. It's really encouraging, and I have to say, it goes a long way because you know it's not easy. You know, if you're yeah, an actor, yeah. it's not easy. You have you have ups and downs. You have low days. You have a day when you're just being trolled for no no reason at all. And then, like silver lining, somebody really senior will almost say something prophetic and nice, and that just it gives you it roots you very strongly in. Your belief, you know, maybe the kind of films I want to make is not entirely wrong, and I want to tell these stories and uh, blah blah. You know, I mean, I feel that way about Bachchan Saab doing this is extraordinary. It's it's a you know, and I think he's in every second ad on the television. He's shooting yeah. his ABC, <laughs> and I really think that how organized and meticulous he would be with his time to find the time to respond to somebody. And take the time to share their new work, and you know how 
is like genius level precision you know almost so i'm i'm very grateful and honestly very very touched like you know um, it's 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 such a nice thing to pass it forward and do it and you know encourage somebody else. yeah actually because no matter how many times you do it you know when you have somebody who you respect for their craft you know and when you know that he's saying it also like i remember i saw the trailer also and i messaged you i said this is fantastic i was blown away you know i didn't expect uh, Yes, you're you're thinking the premise is fantastic. I worked recently with Saurabh Shukla ji also, and I know the kind of actors that you have in it. Akshay Obra looking different. Yeah, the premise is fantastic. But even then, when you see it, you're just going, "Wow, this is what I was waiting to see her in that kind of avatar," you know. And I I think sometimes credit doesn't come your way often enough. I don't think you're credited enough for your performances sometimes. I do believe that you don't go tom toming about yourself also, which I think sometimes has gone against you also, you know. Uh, do, do you think that that the industry is a little bit i mean it's a little laid back until somebody just comes and thrust themselves in their face you know only then they'll say hey, yeah 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 i know that you're very good i just didn't like have the time to meet you do you think you need to do a little bit more of that sometimes no but <laughs> really yeah. i mean i just feel like you know like for a part like this you know when a subhash yeah. kapoor calls me and says i would like you to do this and i keep thinking i'm destined to play this and then that that that's really that's very rewarding for me if somebody says that i've been working on a script for four years and i've written it with you in mind that is wow. something that is very heartening for me and so let's let's say that like my existence in this ecosystem itself is a miracle <laughs> look at the film that i've started out with yeah. look at what has come in here i've come in playing nawaz's mom okay yeah. <laughs> in like the most the glam role i have not bothered at all uh, to a certain extent at least in the beginning of my career about things like grooming which everybody obsesses about i have met you in one of those phases when i was doing yeah, interviews yeah. for something and i told you like you know i really feel like shit i look so bad and haggard and here i am doing you know so i like <laughs> i just feel like every everything uh, that other people don't do like play a bhabhi play a mom Play a gundi. These are risks I've taken, and they work out. So I, uh, I'm not one like song and dance film. Not one where I'm, you know. So I just feel like everything that's but, but, happening is already. You, a... But I read somewhere that you, you, do you look back and you, do you regret some of those on the spur moments of choosing all these particular roles that you just stated. Do you regret doing too much of that? No, 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 no. I don't think that they were on the spur of the moment. They came from a very nice space of thinking that oh, you know, I grew up in Delhi, went to St. Stephen's, and I'm going to approach acting like Meryl Streep and Robert De Niro. But you forget that you have to do your work in Ramnagar, right? So that I'm sorry, that reality suddenly dawns on you when people start stereotyping you in a terrible way. just because yeah. you are a part of a gang of wasi posha i mean in retrospect at that time i really did i i still do feel like it was a mixed blessing a double edged sword because um on the one hand it like everyone was like oh she's great she's new she's fresh her voice is new and she's fantastic actor and on the other hand they were like are ye to buddhi ho gayi before before i am like before i've hit 25 people have slotted me as a 40 year old simply because you know what i'm saying and and uh, that is i think uh, i mean i'm not trying to be pompous but or anything but from a very constructive criticism point of view ye industry ka durbhagya hai na agar yeah. wo acche actors ko aise stereotype karke unko ek hi tarah ke role bar bar denge then it's 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 bad for the industry i think that's changing a lot with the online platforms i mean Ali is a prime example of that. Ali is a prime example of that. How, what a. Uh, by the way, you know I've been binge watching uh, Mirzapur two right now, and I have to say, man, congratulations to both of you, man. I know you all enjoy each other's success so much. I mean, he just blew me away. Fantastic. But he was a, a prime example of somebody who would, you would never have slotted in that kind of role, and then he gets it. So you have seen at close quarters how you know you keep doing your thing, and the industry doesn't necessarily give you the right credit. But then something comes along, and boom, you know something just. it just changes and 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 your life changes overnight it's not overnight 
it oh, appears yeah. to be overnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it can take like a good, heavy, lovely decade, you know. Yeah. And the yeah. thing is, for someone like me to see Ali play a Guddu Pandit was not a revelation because I've done rehearsals for plays with him back in the day when we weren't even dating. You know? yeah. So I know his capacity, his range. But when other people see it and they get excited by it, that to me, it almost gives me a high because I'm like, I was right, do this. So many people were like, oh, you know, he's a guitar, sweet guitar, strumming guy, such a chocolate boy. And I, and you know, and it's so much harder, Salil, for even men in the industry. This is the flip side of patriarchy and uh, having male heroes run the roost and uh, you rule the roost for so many decades. If, if it's a male actor who's trying to break in, yeah. they get the box office rolling immediately. And that doesn't happen unless your dad is someone famous. Yeah, yeah, and neither yeah. is Chadda Saab, neither is Fazal Saab, somebody famous. So we guys have to slum it out and really yeah. work. And so I really feel very grateful for all the opportunities that have come my way. To get back to your question about whether I would get more credit if I mean, I think I definitely think I would have gotten more credit if my either one of my parents were from the business. Um, but again, I'm not saying that with bitterness or with the kind of like whining or ranting that goes on nowadays because I've never looked at it as a, as, as an excuse to justify my lack of, of, of whatever. I just feel like it's so exciting to to build it yourself to, you know, move to Bombay in a one BHK, share it with another girl and, uh, you know, pay like uh, uh, 6,000 rupees rent at the <laughs> beginning and, and yeah. go to auditions and like, yeah. you know, save a uh, rickshaw fare and take the train. And, and then, you know, slowly you build it up, build it up and then you move into a nicer house and you're thinking, let me buy my first car. All those things, you know, it's just, yeah. now you now you look back at them with a small, like bittersweet nostalgia. Like, you know, you feel just gratitude. So I look at it like uh, very gratefully. I feel like being self-made has its own um, advantages. Uh, and like, it's fun that my parents don't know where I am and what I'm doing and what I'm shooting. I'm just like sharing a trailer with them. I'm like, what day if it'll be in the cinema? They're like, okay, what's okay. You know, it's, it's so nice to have a, a completely normal life outside of this uh, bubble. By the way, where are you and what are you shooting? Now, since I, mean, I haven't a clue where you are, you're somewhere far away, but where are you? I'm so far that even though I've installed a router before this chat, the <laughs> network is unstable and I'm hotspotting it using my friend's <laughs> phone right here. And it's really cold. It was zero degrees last night. I'm in Uttarakhand in the hills. And I'm yeah. in a sweater. There's a heater on right here. And I'm wearing two layers. Ah, so, yeah. That, poor old can you see my, how you. pink my nose is? Yeah, your whole face is looking nice and rosy pink. You're in the pink of health, yeah? Yeah, pink of health, looking like a uh, Uttarakhandi apple. It's... <laughs> I love the cold. Are you somebody who's always like, the, you're from North India. You, you obviously must love the cold, yeah. I love the cold. That's for after a long time, I've taken out my college ka sweatshirt with lining and all. I'm wearing my boots and... You know, where's the winter in Bombay? There's no winter in Bombay. For all those people who are wearing monkey caps, it's too winter. This is the winter. 25 degrees is the winter. <laughs> all right, coming to the, I think the most most exciting stuff. I'm going to take a little break and come right back. And from the moment she walked onto the, the screen and then from the time that she had the short hair to the point where, you know, she's making a statement in Madam Chief Minister. I'm so excited, you know. Uh, you know, I always like to see strong performances. And Richa has given a fantastic one, as we already mentioned. When the greatest of the great says, wow, you just say wow. And I mean Amitabh Bachchan. We take a little break and come right back. You're back on Star Stop with me, Salil, and far, far away in a lovely cold little room while I rot away in the heat over here in Bombay is Richa Chadda. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, looking lovely, but this lovely hair of yours looks awesome. Even, even your wig made such a statement. And, and your discussions about the wig also made such a statement, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, you said I did not, you know, in the new uh, role, the trailer, everyone loved it. Before I come to specifics about the film also, what's the best compliment that you received apart from Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, from close friends, family, peers, you know, were they surprised when they saw your performance in the trailer? I mean, my biggest fan club has always been my brothers, who I love. 
I grew up yeah. in a house of four brothers in a joint family. Yeah. And when I posted the trailer on my family WhatsApp group, which is called Global Chadde, because we are all spread out all over. So yeah. uh, on Global Chadde, my brothers were very like, they were like, this is a moment of pride for us yeah. as a family. And I felt so the same because I bullied them a lot when I was a kid. You know, girls shoot taller, faster, broken their bones, hit them, really? broken glass. And, oh my God, so violent. But now I feel like we've all bonded so nicely and they are my biggest fan club. But I'll tell you a cute little anecdote. Somebody from T-Series, uh, where yeah. it, they were in the process of trying to evaluate whether they wanted the film or uh, had visited the set. And I was shooting action at the time. And this character is a tomboy. And she's yeah. a tomboy because of a very reactive logic. You know, in the village, uh, yeah. the previous daughters that her mother had because you know females mm. people right India yeah. yeah yeah so uh in that sense like she grows up as a tomboy she's wearing mm. a Salman Khan ka bracelet she's riding a mm. bike she's always in men's clothes in pajamas loose jeans those bush bush shirt what we call bush shirt and all <laughs> so um one day somebody quite senior from T-Series were there and uh, we were shooting action at the time which you see like a glimpse of in the beginning of the trailer mm. and uh, they were like hey, uh, but where is Ritra and I was sitting right next to them wow. and and I said but this is me they were like I'm sorry I thought I was sitting next to some teenage boy <laughs> I, you know I was chopping wood I was climbing on haystacks and I was doing everything you know and I thought that was a really big compliment for me because, um, you know, girls, we all have to work a lot on our body language, just the way we yeah, communicate yeah. and just to alter all that and just let go of that whole construct of gender was really fun for me to yeah. just be. And she was not, she was not uh, somebody who was not a woman. She was very much a woman with very much uh, having interest in men and doing the things like you know whatever but um yeah i mean i think compliments will come forth more uh after the film releases but let's see i mean i mean you look at comparisons loosely comparisons will always come across yes mayavati is one name that comes across there will be discussions about the communities that you know is being showcased the very fact that you had a jhadu in your hand there was a huge twitter debate that erupted that you handled so gracefully also i love the way you sort of weigh your words and you write back but there will be a lot of controversy and I'm sure that when you were making it also you understood that there could be ye hoga because it's a very powerful area that you're also showcasing a UP is always an area that is going to have its own law. It has the law of their own land. So uh, did you expect this to be like this? Um, so that's a lot of questions. See for me as an <laughs> actor, yeah. I, yeah. I just, I got approached by a director to tell a story of this one underdog, oddball, tomboy character who is from a marginalized community who rises to the top. That premise is very, very exciting to me. So I said yes. Uh, having uh, started the shooting, I never thought that, um, you know, uh, that there will be controversy or there will be something that I will have to hide or I'll have to defend. And uh, in retrospect, I think that it was a blunder on part of our team. You know, actors don't design promotional material. Of course, you know, yeah. We get yeah. our hashtags and our captions and uh, yeah. tags. Like, it comes on a WhatsApp. A couple of hours before, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. couple of hours before <laughs> posting. You post it just as like, post ka pura structure karke Instagram, Twitter, sab kuch diya hota yeah. hai. But I think what all of us fail to, and I'm, I'm not saying this to throw my, like, to, to blame the makers of the film. Because it was just genuinely an oversight, a thoughtless yeah. oversight. When we are dealing with something so sensitive, perhaps we should have been more careful. Because uh, what to us was a prop, like my character, for the first yeah. three days of shooting, I was only doing chores around the village. Gai ka dood nikalna, saaf karna, maasna, saurav shukla ko mehlana, jhaadu lagana, poncha lagana, kitabe jhaadna. I was only doing that. So when I saw the poster, I saw a prop. But mm. when somebody who has faced oppression, ostracization, generationally, through millennia, when they saw that poster, they saw a symbol of their oppression. Yeah. And that, yeah. like, I think was an oversight 
and i feel really bad about it and in defense of my the company uh, i mean the director and the makers immediately next day there was a new poster that was released yeah. where the word in contention was removed and that previous poster was retracted it was genuinely an oversight there was never uh, any no so, you know I, it would also take away from such a powerful trailer where the performances were so strong so i guess that is a very good uh, you know the next day also the the discussion that happened there after also which is brilliant i think but sometimes i think in india you know how it becomes they just sit on something yeah see you must have read that quote when you said yeah. into yeah. the abyss the abyss steps back in view it is just that we tend to mirror the things that we hate like right now the i can't have a civilized discussion with anybody who's going to call me an upper caste upper caste leech or a savarna i mean <laughs> they don't know me they don't know my background they don't know my yeah. politics they don't know what i stand for what i do in my personal life but this is not new to me uh uh a few months ago when the hathras mm-hmm. rape happened which shocked yeah. the world shocked india uh mm-hmm. people were desisting even to discuss it to talk about it to ask for justice the way in which mm-hmm. it was handled and everything i was traveling i knew that i would be clicked by the paparazzi at the airport airport look whatever whatever they do um i decided to showcase my solidarity with people who are oppressed in india traditionally by wearing an ambedkar t-shirt because not only was he the founder of the Uh, the, the 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 father of the indian constitution uh, yeah. but when i was doing this film i learned so many other aspects yeah. about him what it means to be an ambedkarite what the slogan jai bhim means when i bought that t-shirt and i clicked myself in it and i said best kind of airport look ever i got lambasted by the liberals of the world by saying my struggle is not your costume now uh. that is not a valid discussion for me because you can't think that i am co-opting somebody uh, simply because i'm not the same caste as you i like it 2021 is is like on a this kind of your rocket is going like this baki sab ka aisa ja raha hai aur aisa ja raha hai tora aisa ja raha hai very good <laughs> congratulations darling and see you soon enjoy yourself and i must catch up with both of you and uh, congratulations to ali as well for a fantastic last two years and congratulations to you on a brilliant 2021 and congratulations to the both of you also wo bhi maine bola nahi tha abhi tak to congratulations to the both of you 2020 was a good year 2020 was a good year ab hum shaadi karenge is saal aur khush rahenge bye bye thank you bye salil thanks so much that was so fun the yeah. most fun interview i have had all day thank you I don't 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 get bogged down by the rest of it man but I I can't be waiting to see this in the theaters this will be fantastic congratulations see you best work aur mujhe set pe rula sure. diya hai director ne ki yaar <laughs> maza nahi aa raha like that speech <laughs> thing we must have shot uh, we have done 45 takes of that speech na that really? kawari go yeah main neend mein bhi uth ke abhi der saal baad bhi bol sakta <laughs> It's worked. It's showing. Chalo, bye. Bye, Salil. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye.